Hello everybody. Um, so this video is on to how protect how to protect yourself from the new um, malware that came out for Mac. Uh, so the Mac.backdoor.iworm. Um, if you browse Reddit, um, it's a possibility that you have got it. Um, I went to check mine and I did. So it, it explains everything here in this. Um, if you would just Google um, Max malware and Reddit, um, it'll show up. Um, pretty much, um, I'm going to run you through how to potentially protect yourself from this. Um, I don't know 100% if it works, but it is worth a try, and you will at least be getting rid of some of the files that it has downloaded. So, let's go to um, Finder here. You're going to hit Go. You're going to clear what if you have anything there, and you're going to type in a library slash application support slash Java W. Now, if it says the folder can't be found like it does here, um, you are not infected. Um, I did delete this file, and I deleted the folder, so it's not showing up for me anymore. Um, but if it opens up a Finder uh, window with that file inside, then you are, in fact, um, infected with this malware. So the next thing that I did was go down to System Preferences. Um, I do not have... Um, the firewall turned on before, so you go to security and privacy. You're going to type in your password, unlock it, and you're going to hit turn on firewall. Um, and then pretty much right away that came up, um, it said about um, allow incoming and outgoing connections from Java W. Um, obviously you're going to click deny or do not allow or whatever it said. Um, and that should have blocked it at least um, from entering and, and leaving your Mac. Uh, so the next thing that I did was I went to Google and I just downloaded ABG antivirus for Mac. So you can see it's still scanning my Mac here. Um, however, it did pop up and say with that same folder, the application support slash Java W did say that it did find a threat and if you wanted to move it to the trash. So I did. Um, or you quarantine it, whatever AVG calls it. So next, let's open up Terminal. And what you gotta do is CD back all the way to your root directory. So you should do an LS, and it should show up very similar to this. Um, and this is, you're gonna be learning some simple Unix commands right now. So we're gonna change directory. You're gonna have to do this in sudo or permissions mode. Um, just because I, I went through and already changed the permissions on the file or on the folders. Um, but you will have to do sudo cd and then you're going you're to want to go to the slash private there. And it's going to ask for your password. And if you do another ls you can see it did, it did not change. And it did not change again. Um, okay, so there it did. Um, so you type in ls again. You can see now we have changed into a different directory. So we're going to cd var. And like I said, if it doesn't change for you again, you might have to do the sudo cd var. If you do another long listing, um, you can see we did change again. And we want to go to root. So we're going to do cd root. If you do an ls, you should see a whole bunch of files in there that have like a dot. So like dot spam something was one of them, dot java w was another one. Um, obviously these are infected files and they have been successful in hiding them. Um, if you go to finder and do this, you will not see them. Um, now the easy way to do this um, because it, it would be a pain to delete all of them through the terminal window. Um, what you have to do is open up another finder window and you're going to type in defaults right com that apple finder 
and then have it set to yes. All right, so then you'll hit enter. Now this will allow Finder to view all those hidden files. So if you go up to the Apple up there, force quit, and find Finder, and then you're going to want to relaunch. So to relaunch Finder, you can see it even shows some hidden files on my desktop that I didn't know were there. And if you open up Finder, go to your hard drive, even a whole bunch of hidden files in here. Let me clean this up a little bit. I'm going to go to private, var, root. Um, and now what you might have to do, um, I know I had to, is right click on each of those folders, go to get info, hit the uncheck box down there, hit the plus, add your username in there, and then change your permissions to read and write, and then we'll lock it back up again. So I had to do that for each one. Um, so now that you're in the file, you'll see all those folders. It's like SpamBot, the Java W file, um, all of those hidden files. Um, I didn't delete the library one because I think there's some things in here, um, like a certificate open directory for Mac, um, which you don't really want to change. So essentially all I did was just delete all the hidden files that were in there. Um, delete them, move them to your trash, then empty the trash, and you should be good. Um, then go back to that terminal window, arrow up, pull it, the command back up again, and type in no. Then we should be able to quit terminal here. Go back up to force quit relaunch finder again and you can see it did hide those hidden folders again um, so that's all that I know of for now where the locations of this are I'm pretty sure Apple will have a security update coming out soon to remove all those files um, or somebody else might come out with something to remove them all at once but that's at least some way that you can protect yourself for now